Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to talk to you all today about some of the things that I wish I knew before I started to learn how to code. And I really wanted to do this video for a while now because for any of you out there who are just starting to learn how to code or even for any of you who are considering to pick up code, which why wouldn't you? It's the best skill ever. You can build whatever you want. You can do whatever you want with code. Go learn it. Anyways, so some of the things that I wish I knew before I started to learn how to code and this is because coding can be so extremely overwhelming when you're first starting out, no matter what language it is that you're starting out to learn. So I really wanted to break down some of the things that I wish I knew before I started to learn how to code. Really before I started to learn how to code, I didn't know anyone else who coded or maybe one or two other people but I really didn't know anyone else in the industry or that were developers and so I hope for any of you out here who might not know people who are developers or who are coding that you can just kind of pick their brains you can pick mine okay let's get started the number one thing I wish I knew when I was learning how to code is that everyone learns differently and everyone learns at a different pace. I remember when I was in my boot camp, I went to Brain Station here in Toronto, and during my time there when we first started, I just remember being so filled with anxiety and so much nerves because it felt like everyone was completely ahead of me. It felt like everyone was finishing their projects or was asking these questions that I didn't even know what the question meant, let alone the answer. And it made me feel complete imposter syndrome also to I I questioned my learning capabilities I was like why can I not pick this up it seems like everyone else is picking it up but me and really I the number one thing I wish I knew was that everyone learns differently and it's so much easier said than done when you're actually in that situation but reminding yourself that you know what they're on their journey other things they might be slower at other things I might be faster at but this initial learning curve I'm just gonna take my sweet time and I think that would have saved me a lot of anxiety. Another thing I wish I knew when I was starting to learn how to code was to not be afraid to ask questions. There was so many times where I had legit valid questions to ask, but because I was so afraid that people would think I wasn't smart enough or how could I not grasp this concept, I would just not answer or not ask them. And it really, I think in the end affected my my initial learning progress because I wasn't asking any questions. I was pretending I knew it all, I was pretending I knew everything, like everyone else there, um, and just not really getting into, into the question part of it. And even more so, once I finished my boot camp, I got on and hired a mentor to kind of help with anything I was still stuck on or any kind of questions that I still had. And even for the first few weeks meeting with my mentor, I would tailor my questions specifically around, okay, well, I don't think this is a silly question, so I'll ask this, or I just wouldn't freely ask any questions. And I think more than anything, that's not only been a skill that I have learned through growing in my development and coding journey or career, but also too, it really has completely impacted other areas of my life because now I'm not like, oh, maybe I should ask this, I don't know, can I ask this? Like, I'm just like, no, I have a question for you. Let me get at it. And not being afraid to put yourself out there because it's not a silly question. And if anyone tells you otherwise, that's on them. Ask whatever question you want, big, small, whatever, because I guarantee you are not the first person to ask that question. Another thing I wish I knew when I was first learning how to code was that everyone brings something different to the table and that you don't have to be amazing at absolutely everything. And what I mean by that is some of the people that I was going to school with and learning with, they were amazing designers and that's really their specialty. And then others were really passionate about the back end and working with databases and uh, API endpoints and some were more passionate about the front end. There was so such like a wide range of different skill sets that were coming together and learning very similar things that for someone like myself who was completely not in the tech world prior entering into it I initially thought oh my goodness I need to be good at designing I need to be good at back-end front-end everything like I want to be this amazing full-stack developer who can slash designer slash X Y and Z all in the span of like three or four months and that's completely unrealistic or at least for me it is and as well it shouldn't be that your main goal is to try and be good like okay at everything, it should be that your main goal, at least when starting out, is to master something. Master whether it's, you know, JavaScript or front end or back end or 
being like being really good at the front end design of things like picking a specialty and really diving into that and that was something i really wish i knew when i started to learn how to code one of the biggest things as well that i wish i knew was that this learning for coding isn't a you know four-year program a two-year program whatever it is that you are taking or thinking of taking it's a lifelong process you will continually and constantly be learning and growing you don't have to but if you want to continue growing your skills and developing more different skill sets you will have to spend some time working on those skills and continuing to push yourself out of your comfort zone uh, in order to get better another thing that i didn't really know going into coding or i didn't really expect to be as much of is collaboration when i especially when i got my first coding job and started as a developer i realized there's so much collaboration and the importance of collaborating with others to solve different problems and fix different bugs even though for a large part of the day you might be on your own developing and coding different things it's equally as important to bounce off different ideas and problems with other developers also to sharing different ideas that are different things that you've been learning on your free time learning how to code has not only taught me this amazing incredible uh superpower really that i can use in my day-to-day -day job and being able to build what Ever I want like whatever idea I have which is incredible but also to the skills that come with learning how to code even if you don't want to use it in your day-to-day -day life are just amazing um, the different problem-solving skills you develop the different ways of being comfortable with uncomfortable the different ways of feeling like you work together with different people and collaborate and learning how to be a really good team member but also really independent and um, not being afraid to ask questions it's just an overall really really amazing skill to learn because it really pushes your boundaries in so many areas which can transpire into so many different areas of your life i hope you all enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel give this a thumbs up and i will see you all soon thanks everyone